Outside the Hennepin County Library, sidewalks narrow as a homeless encampment grows. But one business owner we talked to says his concerns go much deeper. He shared those with Kaya Edwards. Welcome to the Totally Committed Resource Center, the one-stop shop for health and wellness. It's been almost a year since Tyler Phillips opened his resource center in Uptown, and he can't help but notice what's happening outside. A lot of times it's, it's distracting uh, looking out. Like, I would say last week, for example, I saw a growing pile of garbage down there. With the amount of property taxes that are paid in this area, it's like it needs to be cleaned up. Several people are living in tents and storing their belongings next to the public library across the street. Sometimes it's completely blocking the sidewalk. But it's not just the mess causing concern. What happened in 2018? It's the well-being of the people. When I got out of prison in 2018, my, um, all my family was pretty much gone because I did a 20-year sentence in the federal system and uh, I've been homeless ever since. I am constantly told that there's people that are gonna come out and help and talk to us and stuff like that, but we don't never get nobody out here talking to us. You guys are the first people to talk to me other than other homeless people. Tyler says he's contacted city council members, the mayor, 311 and 911. No one yet has has really declared that it's a a huge issue that they want to try and solve. We reached out to the city to ask if there are any plans to help clear this specific area and help the people living here. A city spokesperson says Minneapolis and Hennepin County are working together with one individual listed to move into a shelter Tuesday. We're also told trash and rubbish removal has increased as a broader containment effort. It seems like they're not getting to the bottom of the problem. They're just kind of moving the problem here to there. Tyler now plans to invite those in need to Men's Mental Health Matters, a new monthly program inside his resource center. Kaya Edwards, Carol 11 News.